I finally get a chance to talk about Palo Alto. Um, I've been looking forward to this movie for months. Uh, I'm a huge, huge Sofia Coppola fan, and one of my favorite movies of all time is um, The Virgin Suicide. So this is her niece, I believe, Gia, and um, I heard that it was very heavily influenced by The Virgin Suicide. So I was excited to watch it, and uh, I read the book in preparation, and I did not like it that much. I liked the story of it. I did not like James Franco's writing style. Um, it, it felt very juvenile. It, it, it was almost like a third grader wrote it. Um, so yeah, I wasn't a big, big fan of the book, but I was excited to see the stories come to life. And um, there, there are a lot of narrators and a lot of characters in the book, so what Gia Coppola did, uh, she sort of just meshed a bunch of stories together and a bunch of characters and made like a whole thing. Um, so it does uh, differ from the book in some, in some aspects, but I thought it was a pretty faithful adaptation. And uh, it, it gets the feel of the book, uh, which is the most important thing in, in my opinion. Um, not so much the details and the characters, but the feel of it. And it's a very um, virgin suicide feel. That, that's all I can really compare it to, because I have no idea how to describe it. Um, it's one of those movies that just makes you feel something while you're watching it. it it's almost like a sadness. Uh, it, it feels almost nostalgic. So. Um, I actually enjoyed it a lot. It didn't drag out for me. It wasn't boring. Um, I liked the amount of time that was spent with the characters, except for one. Um, my favorite character in the movie wasn't really featured that much. She was, um, sort of there for five minutes and then nothing was really talked about her that much, so... I was a bit disappointed. I'm talking about Emily, if anybody doesn't know. Um, Emily was definitely my favorite character, and I liked the actress that they picked. Um, Val Kilmer is in this, and his son is in this. Um, his son Jack was was okay. I liked him. Emma Roberts was fine. James Franco was really creepy, which is exactly what he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be a teacher that um, sort of flirts with his student and starts a relationship with her, so he was very creepy, That that that's for sure. Um, I think he did a good job, and uh, I loved the music in it. It fit really well with everything. The, the, the soundtrack was really appropriate, um, I should say. And yeah, I'm going to be very brief because there's not much I want to say. I really liked it. It's... It's a great debut, I think. This is Gia Coppola's first movie, and um, I'm excited to see more. Uh, if she goes sort of along the same path as Sofia, um, I'm, I'm going to be a fan of hers, because I, I love this style. And actually, there was um, a poster for, for The Virgin Suicides in Emma Roberts' room, in her character's room, so... It's there, the influence is there, and it's very, very clear. Um, is it as good? No, I don't think it was as good, but it's definitely a great start to her career, and I'm excited to see more from her. So yeah, if you're a fan of anything in this genre, like Sofia Coppola, uh, or if you like James Franco, if you read the book and you're interested, um, I, I do recommend this movie. Um, again, very interesting to watch and I think it does stick with you and it's just the story is not that complicated there's nothing much to it and nothing really happens but it does make you feel and there is a certain atmosphere to it so I, I really enjoyed it and I really liked it and better than the book for sure uh, the book was a bit weird so yeah